Hey, hey folks, Ben here with probably the fanciest and schmanciest soda pop beverage tasting I've ever done on the channel. Yep, I know. Uh, yeah, it's sitting right here. Look, it's in a box. He's got the box. Yeah, um, VAT 19. I don't know, is that value added tax? VAT for my European flavored viewers? Sure. Um, but it's got, yeah. Come on, fancy this, right? What is it? Uh, some kind of butterscotch beer, and then it says butterscotch cream soda, and then it says non-alcoholic, which I didn't know they made alcoholic cream sodas and or butterscotches. Sure, let's open it up. So, oh wow, it's even got a, 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 a thing. I don't know if you can see it here, there we go. They did a recess for the cap is what I'm saying, so it doesn't just, she's locked in for comfort. There we go, ooh, that's an interesting color. Very slightly cloudy. Very, very slightly. Basically, that could just be the bottle fogging up. Well, we got nutritional facts here. Uh, nutrition, here we go. Amount per serving, wow, they really want, can you tell what the calories are? It's big and bold. Right there, yeah. Uh, calories, 150, sure. 15 milligrams of sodium, 13% of your carbs. 33 grams of sugar. Oof, dumb man. Plus added sugars for 60. Well, it's got all the sugar. Not a significant source of trans fat, saturated fat, cholesterol, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and what's that? Polas? Pot po yeah. Sure. Ingredients sparkling filtered water. I like it when they filter it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's see. Sparkling filtered water. Yes. Cane sugar. Sure, natural butterscotch flavor, natural vanilla flavor, caramel color, stevia leaf extract, great. Manufactured for Reeds, Inc., Norwalk, Connecticut, with a zip code. Then we got a phone number. We can call them and ask them about the stuff. Oh, what's this say? Bottle is constructed by recycled material. Nice. All right, well, now that... Oh, she's a Virgil's handcrafted. I didn't realize it was a Virgil's. That's what, well, that's what it says on, I don't know. That's what it says. Charles, relax. Gluten-free, 100% natural. What does it say Virgil's anywhere else? Nope, Flying Cauldron. That's the name of this one, Flying Cauldron. Maybe Virgil's makes it for them, or they just ran out of Flying Cauldron caps. I don't know. I don't work there, is what I'm saying. Direct your question. Do you want... If you phone 1-800-99-READS, R-E-E-D-S, I don't know what that corresponds to, but 1-800-99-READS, ask them, what's with the Virgil's cap on the Flying Cauldron Butterscotch beer? Sure. Anyways, enough shaking of the bottle. Let's open it up and see it splash all over the place. Solid. I like that. Oh, that cap smells just like a Werther's original. Oh, I'm already liking this. I hope it tastes half as good as it smells. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's, it's like going to be like drinking freaking caramel. Oh, that is like drinking. Now I understand all the sugars. That is, that's possibly the sweetest beverage I've ever had. No, make well, hmm. Mm, that butterscotch just lingered, lingers, because it's still lingering. Oh, cat yelled. I don't know if you can hear that, but pops open. Too late to restart. Mm. There's an initial I don't like taste. That's probably the stevia. Just, but it's just there. It's an undertone. It's not a prominent player in this play. Oh, that's uh, mm, butterscotch. Who knew, right? Check it out. Flying cauldron. Looks like something out of a Harry Potter movie. I'm just saying. I'm not saying, but I am saying.
Oh, there's a best before date. Oh, good. It's not expired. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Flying Cauldron. Butterscotch beer. Non-alcoholic. Doesn't need to be. It's good enough on its own. That sucks. Rules. Find it wherever it's sold. I don't know where it's sold. My sister gave it to me. Yep. I agree. She is really cool that way. Yep. All right. I've been Ben. Y'all been y'all. This has been a Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. Fuck, that's good. Mm-hmm. Cheers, folks. Literally. <laughs>